Welcome back to Cooking with Katie. I'm a registered dietitian with White Earth Public Health and I'm back here cooking with Heather and we have taken ourselves on the road. We are here working on another project in Pine Point today and thought we could kill two birds. Yeah, with one, one stone. stone, right? There you go. Hey, okay. hi, I'm Heather, registered nurse with White Earth Public Health. Um, today we're going to uh, make a high fiber sa sandwich um, which we're going to incorporate beans and tuna. And so depending on how you want to serve it kind of depends on how much fiber you're going to get. Um, so we are going to do a toasted open faced English muffin with um, a malted grain um, and that has around 8 grams of fiber in it so that adds on top of what's in there with the beans. So we hope you enjoy. Okay this recipe is a quick recipe to whip up. Um, first we'll add one can of what kind of beans are those? They're not cannellini like it calls for but we just went with some great northern white beans. So whatever works on any bean. Yep, and we drained and rinsed them. And then we're gonna add in two small dill pickles, chopped up. And you could add your onion at this time, but we're gonna Heather omit that stuff. Heather wants to add it at the end. <laughs> so that's okay. So make it how you like it as always. And then we're gonna put in two tablespoons. Wait, no. One tablespoon. Oh, All right. sorry, yep, you're measuring it. So. That's okay. And we're going with apple cider vinegar. The recipe calls for red, red white, and vinegar, but we're substituting with apple cider vinegar. And then a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And then we'll just stir it together just very gently. We don't want to break up the beans or anything crazy. Whoopsies. And then when she's got that stirred together, we are just gonna, we have, I have two, um, these are five ounce cans. I couldn't find a seven ounce can. So I'm just gonna put in both of the cans in there. Um, might have to break that up a little bit. Yeah, and we drain that ahead of time as well. So we'll just stir it all together and break it apart. Maybe more material, sorry Heather. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, and we're just gonna mix this together until it's combined. Okay, as we mentioned earlier, we're gonna use um, whole wheat English muffins, but today we actually have had these light multi-grain um, muffins and they actually have more fiber in them. So when we actually toasted it, um, the English muffin, so you know, more for texture reasons. And then we'll just put some on top. Put an amount. Now you can certainly put some like um, cream cheese or miracle mayo. You could even add that to the salad. However you wanna try it, you know, kind of take it how you would like. The original recipe just left it um, dry like this, so we're gonna kind of try it like that first. Um, but of course too, besides the English muffin, you can go with a whole wheat wrap, you could use whole wheat bread, um, you could put it like on top of a salad, like a bed, a bed of lettuce or even like a lettuce wrap. So there's lots of ideas. Throw a slice of cheese on there and put it under your broiler and make it hot. So That'd be good. yes, lots of endless ways that you can make this salad. So and we're gonna do an open face sandwich. Yep, so. yep. And that's just to help eliminate some of the carbohydrates. So we'll go from there, but we hope you enjoyed our take on our salad mm -hmm. today. And remember to check out whiteart.com for today's recipe. See you next time. See you next time.